Jay Buggin, boy, you got one. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Anwar, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're talking all about flannels and how to style them in the fall. Let's jump right in. Jay bugging on them 808s. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube studio. It's your boy Anwar and in today's video we're going to be talking about one of my favorite pieces to pull out during the fall and winter months when it gets a little bit colder. We are talking about flannels. So just going to be covering where I get mine from, different colorways that I like, and just ultimately how I like to style them and just layer them in the winter months. Now before we get into all that, Make sure you guys subscribe for weekly videos all about men's fashion. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the intro and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Now with that out of the way, let's get into our first topic all about flannels. Let's talk about where I get them from. So as you guys can see, I have quite a few flannels and I actually copped the majority of them over the summer. So that's just a little sneak, sneaky tip or whatever. Um, and I mean, that goes for any clothing. Like right now, I'm actually shopping for shorts, even though it's December. But as far as the flannels go, I copped them in the spring and summertime. They were just on a crazy sale. But not only that, the place that I picked them up from has even more wild sales. So believe it or not, I get almost all of my flannels from Kohl's. Um, I know it's not like a streetwear store or, you know, it's, it's not so much of a fashion person store, but don't sleep on Kohl's. They have a lot of great stuff and the prices are just, you know, second to none in a lot of situations. So all of the flannels that I got are around retail 30, 40, 50 bucks. They're from Urban Pipeline. I just like that collection as well as the Sonoma collection at Kohl's. But because I got them around the you know winter or not the winter, because I got them around the springtime, the summertime, they were on sale already for about 20 bucks a pop. But then not only were they on sale, they also got clearance. So they were on clearance for about $9.80. But the great thing about Kohl's is they actually let you add coupons and discounts on top of the clearance pricing. So I walked out with about eight or nine flannels in the middle of May for $4.50 each flannel. That is thrift store prices for brand new flannels in the quality on the Urban Pipeline and that Sonoma brand. I mean, hey man, they're really thick. They've got that like hairy flannel-y feel to it. I don't like flannels that are like just cotton plaid t-shirt. Not t-shirts, but like button-ups. So it's like a regular dress shirt, it's just plaid. In my opinion, that's not a flannel. I feel like a flannel has that like, you know, it's got that scratchy, you know, thick, kind of warm material and it's also plaid and has color. So that's what I really like in a flannel and Kohl's has crazy options and deals, especially in those warmer months. So if you guys are looking to pick up some flannels and you're on a budget, you on that, you know, thrift store prices, although some thrift stores be tripping on the prices. But if you're in that thrift store, you know, price range, but you want some really nice flannels, 
definitely check out Kohl's. So with that out of the way, I just wanna talk about the colors that I picked up from Kohl's and just some different things that I was feeling and I don't know, just why I chose the colors that I chose. All right, so as we move into colors, I basically just categorize these kind of on the fly, but just bear with me, catch my drift. As far as flannels go, I feel like when you're shopping for them, you're looking for different colors. Um, the ones that I really stick to, I would say, first are more saturated colors. So I got two examples here. So this is a, a super saturated red. This is like a super saturated orange. Uh, but they have like really toned down elements that aren't so basic. So what the heck am I saying right there? Basically what I'm saying is you see a saturated color on a flannel, say a red, and it's usually just red and black, red and black, red and black, red and black, which is a classic flannel. And if you have it in your closet, absolutely pick one up, have it in your closet. But it's, it's done a lot. So I think a way that you could play with it is so this is like a red and a navy with a little bit of white and then also like this royal blue. It's just got a lot more character. So I think it's it's a cooler and just more different play on the easier route, which would be a red and black flannel. Same thing here. So we're going like red adjacent and we pull out the orange with the navy and the teal. I just really like that color combo. I think it works. So definitely check out some saturated colors. Some of my favorite things to do is to go with more of earth tones. So you see, I got this brown one here, and then this one is like a tannish, auburny orange. Like, I don't know, it's like a tan yellow, like a honey yellow with a little bit of tan. Gray, a little bit, like a, a hint of light blue and navy. And so you get, when it, whenever I'm talking about these, I'm like, a hint of this, a little bit of that. And so the reason why I like that is it gives you a lot to play with. But I just love these neutral tones because I think they're very complimentary, especially if you're a melanated guy like myself. I just really like the way these like earth tones look and I feel like the navy, the little bit of teal and blue, that Tiffany blue, it gives you a lot to play with when you go to like style your flannel with sneakers, jackets, any kind of layering, different things like that. And then this is probably my favorite. I don't know what it is, but when it's predominantly gray, when a flannel is predominantly gray and then they go with pastel colors. So we have two right here. So this is predominantly gray and this one's predominantly gray, but it's got this pastel orange, this pastel blue, and a little bit of tan. This is one of my go-tos. I'm picking this one up almost like twice a week, it feels like. It's crazy how many times like this is my go-to layering piece. And this one is just absolute fire. Again, this is from Sonoma. You see I have some Urban Pipeline ones in here as well, but I just love, oh my gosh, I love this one. So it's pink and it's got that light blue. It's just really nice pastel colors with this gray base color. It's so freaking wearable. And I know you're like, yo, you got a pink shirt on, you can't wear that. I'm telling you, this gray base layer, it just like, it melts all of those ideas away. This is super wearable. And I put this on with, I can make this work with almost everything. So when you're shopping for flannels, definitely look into those saturated colors, but with a spin, not the typical black and blue, red and blue, you know, red and black. You know, when you're thinking about neutral colors, earth tones, try some brown, try some tans with the flannels. I think it really works and it's very complimentary. And pastel color is just a great way to add a pop of color, even though you have this gray base, just that little bit of color in there, it really just helps make your outfits a little more interesting. And that's just kind of like the, my idea and just go-to colors when it comes to buying flannels. All right guys, so the last thing I wanna talk about before we get out of here is this way is I like to style and layer my flannel. So as you guys see, it's mainly two different ways I like to play it. Either I want that flannel to talk and be a little loud and have something to say, or I wanna have it just peek out, poke out, 
just be a little, you know, a little pop here and a little pop there. So lately it's winter time. It's getting a little colder here in Chicago, but it's not like snowy or anything like that. It's definitely windy city though. So even though it's not snowing, it's still pretty cold. But the way I've been just styling it is I love my puffer vest. Puffer jackets are hot right now. We're gonna be talking about those in a video real soon. But puffer jackets are super hot right now. But I've got these puffer vests. So what I love about them, they're super saturated. Got an orange, I got a blue one. So I throw that on and now the sleeves still pop out. So that's when I'm going with a super colorful flannel and I just kind of want the flannel to talk and that color of the puffer jacket just kind of complements or helps bring out you know, a blue or a pink color in one of these flannels, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm not going that route, I'm not using a vest or uh, I'm not doing, um, you know, I'm laying it over a lightweight jacket or a, a crop jacket where the flannel kind of pops out at the bottom, then I usually try to just throw it right on top or layer it with a hoodie. So again, when you want to throw it off, you know, throw it on top of like a vintage tee is a great look for a flannel. But the thing is, when it's getting a little colder, I'm going to need a little bit more than a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? So I love layering with a hoodie. So that way I can still get that kind of like flannel to be the main focal point of the fit. But, you know, I'm still warm because I got a hoodie on. So what I usually do is I size up. So I actually have got these flannels not only in mediums is my typical size, but I also pick them up in larges. That way I can throw like my heavy duty hoodie on underneath and then throw my flannel over top. Another thing you do is you can put up, pick up those like shirt jackets, those shackets that are like in that flannel material and like plaid, you know, kind of design or whatever. So, and that's another situation where you can just throw that jacket on top of a hoodie and now you're rocking your flannel, but you know, you're still staying warm even though, you know, you don't have like a huge coat on. So those are two ways that I like to layer my flannels. Overall, I just love, love flannels. You should pick some up. You should try and style outfits with them. And again, I don't know, definitely have that black and red flannel, but be able to, you know, try something different and add a little flavor. I feel like uh, a flannel is a simple, it's not like, oh my gosh, you have a Givenchy shirt on. You know what I'm saying? You can get flannels from anywhere. I get mine from Kohl's. But if it's the right colorway and you pair it well, a flannel outfit can knock out any kind of like hype beast or designer fit. You know what I'm saying? If you know how to play with those complimentary colors, why? Right. But anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video to talk about flannels and why I love them, where you should get them from, and how you should style them. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe and smash that like button for your boy. It helps out the channel far more than you know. Without further ado, man, make sure you guys take care of your skin. Make sure you're always smiling and drinking your water. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.